Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to review Mom and Dad. So Mom and Dad was released January 2017, and it is an R-rated movie. It centralizes around the plot that they're... From synopsis that I've read after watching the movie, they did say that it's a 24-hour kind of situation, which I don't think was actually ever mentioned in the movie that they ever went past 24 hours to really determine that. So what happens is parents seem to be triggered by seeing static on a monitor. And after seeing static, then they are driven to go kill their children, which is completely opposite of how, you know, any parent should act. And they kind of likened it in a clip with Dr. Oz to a phenomena with pigs, how there's like a 50% uh, fatality percentage 51st, that's super redundant, but that the moms would go after the kids, you know, stomp them out, kill them before they reach uh, maturity. And it's, it's a very interesting take. I don't think I've ever seen this really done in a movie so far. So that was refreshing to see, you know, a different concept of how you're going to bring the thrills. So the movie does revolve around the Ryan family which obviously the dad is played by Nick Cage and mom is played by Selma Blair. I don't remember who played the kids and really honestly wasn't a fan of them. Children actors for me, it's really hard to not find them incredibly annoying. You just want, you know, the movie to end at that point. But it, I mean, it, it is what it is. So the one thing that kind of stood out to me was from the get-go, Nick Cage kind of resented and hated his family to begin with. And I don't actually remember ever seeing him seeing the static. He kind of just always hated them. And perhaps with the knowledge that all of this is going on worldwide, maybe no one would question that he wants to kill his family or at least his children. And then there is an underlying tone that keeps being brought up again and again with Selma Blair going to see her old boss after having an argument with her daughter that her daughter's not, you know, her friend anymore. And pretty much she throws it back in her face as any teenager does like, Hey, I didn't ask to be here. And it's not my fault that you have no friends. After said conversation, she goes back to who you think her prior boss was, asks for her job and is pretty much like, sorry, you've been out of this for 15 years. Why don't you go take some classes? There's also another segment in the movie, which was prominently in the trailer with Nick Cage freaking out. And we were wearing the same shirt because I thought it would be appropriate. Going on a very stereotypical Nick Cage rant about how he, you know, lost youth and he hates being middle-aged and crises and pretty much the kids took over everything and his life is ruined. And she kind of sits down and commiserates with him like, yeah, yeah, you know, I didn't think it would turn out like this either, which sucks. And maybe that in the back of everyone's mind, that's what's triggering after seeing the static. They're like, hey, yeah, I have all this anger. I'm, I'm going to, you know, craziness. So what I liked about the movie I'm a big Nick Cage fan. I don't care how bad the movie is, honestly. If he's in it freaking out, I'm going to have a good time. I'm probably going to watch it again. I've watched it twice so far. And the freakouts, the freakouts never disappoint me. I did like that. I did like the inventive ways that people were dispatching other people. I don't want to give too many things away here. And I liked their choice of weapons in a lot of cases. So, you know, those things really made, and also the, the different take on the whole plot of the movie, not so much the subplots with the, you know, teenage girl and her boyfriend. Like, I don't care about that. I didn't come to the movie to see that, but I thought that, you know, it was a refreshing way to look at a thriller. My dislikes, Selma Blair's a terrible actress. I'm sorry if you feel differently. I just, like, anything I've seen her in, it's just not good. And I I hate ugly crying. I know it's definitely more realistic, but it was just, like, 
I don't know, made me think of the cowardly lion and it was not believable. And I just wanted to laugh at her, which makes me sound like a really bad person, but whatever. Um, with all of the, the kills that are in the movie, which there are a lot of kills, you really only see maybe three of them and they're not really like the money shot you want. Kind of like a letdown. Definitely the ones towards the end of the movie that I don't want to give away are pretty cool. They're in slow motion. There's some cool music playing. That's fine. But for a movie that's based around the concept of killing, there really is no payoff. And I was super disappointed with that. The The boyfriend that I had mentioned that is uh, the, the teenage Ryan girl's boyfriend. So dude should have died about three times and just kept popping back up. And I was getting super irritated about that. Like, bro, just stay down. Like you're ruining the movie. This isn't super believable, you know, and not having any brain damage after some of them I thought wasn't super believable, but you know, they say teenagers really bounce back. So maybe it is realistic. Who knows? I was never in those situations as a teen. So I can't really vouch for that. So let's see, I would probably rate this movie maybe a two out of five, just giving it those two because I enjoyed the ranting and the freak out so much, but it just wasn't what I thought it would be from the premise. If you're going to, you know, have a trailer promoting all this crazy stuff happening, but then you never actually show the meat of it, I'm going to be a little disappointed or a lot disappointed. Like I said, probably going to watch it again, but I mean, I know what I'm in store for now. I do recommend that you watch it. You get your own opinion. You might like it way more than I did. You might hate it way more than I did. Maybe you're not a Nick Cage fan. That's fine. I love Nick Cage. I think he's a crazy, crazy person and I'm into it, but definitely give it a shot. I found it on Amazon Prime there's a rent or a buy option right now. So maybe rent it first to see if you like it or just go big and buy it like I did. So if you did like the video, please leave a comment. Please like the channel, subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications so you know when I upload any content. And thank you so, so much for watching. Goodbye.